In problem number 46 of section 2.6, we use Simpson's method with um, n subintervals to approximate the integral from negative pi to pi of dt over 5 plus 3 cosine t. Now, we're looking at an interval of length 2 pi, and we want to use n subintervals, so uh, the length of each interval will be pi over 4. So we're looking at, uh, so our sample points will be negative pi, negative 3 pi over 4, uh, negative pi over 2, and so on, back up to uh, 3 pi over 4 to pi. So according to Simpson's method, this is approximately equal to uh, delta t over 3, which now delta t is just the um, width of one of the, or the length of one subinterval, which is um, equal to pi over 4. This is pi over 4 times 1 third. And now we'll look at uh, 1 at the function evaluated at the first point, so negative pi. So 5 plus 3 times cosine of negative pi, which uh, is equal to negative 1, so 5 minus 3. And I'll add plus, uh, plus 4 over 5 plus 3 times cosine of negative 3 pi over 4, which will be uh, negative square root 2 over 2. Uh, plus 2 times, uh, or 2 over uh, 5 plus 3 times cosine of uh, negative pi over 2, which is just 0. And to continue on like this, we end up with 4 over 5 plus, uh, now we have the co 3 times the cosine of, uh, let's see, now we're at negative pi over 4, so this is square root 2 over 2 plus 2 over 5 plus 3 uh, times cosine of, uh, let's see, cosine of 0, which is 1, plus 4 over 5 plus 3 uh, cosine pi over 4, which of course is just uh, square root 2 over 2. Uh, plus uh, 2 over, let's see, 5 plus 3 times cosine of, now we're at pi over 2, so that's a 0. And plus 4 times, or 4 over 5 plus uh, 3 times cosine of 3 pi over 4, which is negative root 2 over 2. And finally, plus um, 1 over uh, 5 plus 3 cosine of pi, which is negative 1. All right, so if you plug all this into a calculator and compute an actual numeric value, you find that it comes out to be uh, approximately 1.0113. So it seems a pretty reasonable guess that uh, this integral may actually be equal to 1. Certainly, it's very close to 1.